Although there are not many of them, there are some characters who are users of Advanced Conqueror Hockey. In the One Piece story, the most powerful type of hockey and rarely owned by people is Conqueror Hockey, because this type of hockey is different from the other two types. Both hockey are known to be learned and awakened by anyone. However, for Conqueror Hockey not everyone is able to awaken it. Simply put, the hockey is a gift which only certain people have. It is known that there are several characters who are still alive and are users of the Advanced Conqueror Hockey. Here are six living characters confirmed to have Advanced Conqueror Hockey. Dark King Rayleigh is the former vice captain of the Roger Pirates. He was the one who trained Luffy during the time skip. In the Sabodi arc, and when the time skip moment occurred, Oda showed that Rayleigh's strength and hockey ability was extraordinary. Rayleigh is known to master all three types of hockey. The proof of the awesomeness of Rayleigh's conqueror hockey is how he was able to make all the people at the human auction unconscious. Only Straw Hats and the worst generation were able to survive. Rayleigh is one of the people who has advanced conqueror hockey. The first mate of Monkey D. Luffy, Rurano Azoro is an exceptionally skilled swordsman who has the ability to use conqueror's hockey as well. He awakened this power for the first time when he fought Kaido and managed to scar him using it in the Wano Country arc. Later, in the fight against King, Zoro used Conqueror's Haki to tame Emma completely. Eventually, Zoro managed to coat all his swords in what appears to be the advanced form of Conqueror's Haki. Yamato is the son of Kaido, so there's absolutely no surprise that he possesses the power to use Conqueror's Haki as well. Yamato awakened this power at the age of eight and has, since then, been training it. By the age of 28, Yamato is one of the strongest Conqueror's Hockey users. What's more, Yamato can now use the advanced form of Conqueror's Hockey that allows him to coat himself and his weapons in it as well. In the fight against Kaido, Yamato was able to hold his own and even make him bleed. Luffy was born with Conqueror's Hockey, as confirmed by Oda on several instances in the story. In Wano Country, he managed to pick up how to code his body with the power, making him much stronger. Luffy can use all the forms of basic Conqueror's Hockey with great control, and although his advanced Conqueror's Hockey usage is a bit crude, right now he's sure to improve it in the future. During his fight against Kaido, he was able to hurt the Yonko and drop him to his knees with just a few punches. Shanks is one of the Yonko in the One Piece world, and it's expected of him. He has great command over hockey. Although Shanks doesn't have a devil fruit, he has a mastery over all the three hockey types. His skill over Conqueror's hockey was displayed to the fans when he visited the Moby Dick and caused physical damage to the ship even when suppressing his hockey. When fighting against Kid, Shanks uses the Divine Departure Technique, a technique coded by Conqueror Hockey. Monkey D. Garp is one of the strongest characters in One Piece. Garp is more popular as a rival to Gal D. Roger, because of how often they fought in the past. Garp is also known as a naval hero thanks to his strength and his cooperation with Roger in facing the Rocks Pirates. Despite not having the power of the Devil Fruit, people recognize him as a very terrifying figure thanks to his hockey abilities. Garp mastered one of the hockey, namely Armament Hockey, where the level was already very high. However, in Chapter 1080 yesterday, it was finally confirmed that Garp was also the owner of the Conqueror Hockey. This was proven when he used the Galaxy Impact or Galaxy Fist technique to destroy part of the city on Beehive Island. And when Garp used the technique, a black light appeared around him, 